Hello there, YouTube. This is Renetto, and I'm making a video from the park. It's around five o'clock ish. I'm going to be uploading this as soon as I'm finished making it. Um, but I'm not sure if I've shown you guys my recumbent bike. I've made plenty of videos about it on Facebook and Instagram over the last couple of years. But I'm not sure if I've ever introduced this to you guys. I want you to check this out. This is my recumbent bike. And uh, I'm using my forward-facing camera, so I'm holding it, the phone a little bit weird. But this is something I love dearly. And um, I found this at a uh, used, um, you know, bike shop or whatever like a played against sports and <clears throat> I will never ride a normal bike ever again. No one should ever ride a normal bike again. Once somebody invented these little things, I paid about $275 for it. And it is a dream come true to ride this thing. You said you said I I'm, I'm carrying my phone and stuff in this bag and if i put the phone and stuff like that in my um pockets of these like kind of running shorts they, it'll fall out or something so i don't trust it but man i wish i could flip the camera around but uh essentially it is a tad bit um i don't know people people that ride ride this say that it's a little awkward like it's it, it it it's unstable or something. I don't really see it like that. Um, I see it as amazing. Like I'm like literally sitting in an office chair. <laughs> I'm like sitting in an office chair, and um, I can't get my hand far enough away. I should have brought a selfie stick. I should actually have a selfie stick, but of course you guys know I don't. But anyway, um, I'm getting ready to go ride this all over Zephyr Hills. And um, not just, not really riding it here at the park. I just, this is why I was going to start my ride. Hey, there you go. And I wanted to show you guys this bike. And I figure the wind's probably blown into the microphone and all that crap. But yeah, I love this bike. And unfortunately, it doesn't really have a kickstand because this is one design flaw to this recumbent bike. If you look at this kickstand down here, you can see, well, there is a kickstand, but I had it. you see how short it is? Like, there's no way this will work. I mean, by the time that thing hits the ground, this bike's practically laying on its side. So you're supposed to be able to extend this kickstand and it's supposed to go click, 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 click and come out to like here and hold the bike up. But when it's that, when it's long enough to actually hold the bike up, you can see the kickstand itself will actually hit the tire back here. Like basically you only have about that much more length you can put on the kickstand unless it's like here. Anyway, it's just... It's a bad, it's the kickstand should have been like up here somewhere and it could have been super long. It could have come way out to here and it's just a bad design, unfortunately. So I got to make a kickstand for this or just lean it up against things. Uh, but my God, do I love this bike. Okay, so this is, I mean, you see how thick this seat is? And how comfortable that is when I get right in this thing and yeah I could put a little camera mount on here you know and uh, video blog and ride around or put it up here like a dash cam and we could go everywhere I love it love it love it okay enough about that I uh, have been a little burnout on making videos. I made a few shorts yesterday 
and uh, I probably will actually do my morning manifest because I can do it in 60 seconds. So uh, I did a little short of that and I could see myself just posting a 60 second morning manifest video as maybe my next challenge, you know, for 30 straight days, just 30 days, uh, morning manifest every day, like in the morning, posting it up on it as a short, posting it on TikTok, posting it here on YouTube, and then maybe just doing some, you know, once a week, couple times a week, doing a long form hangout video blog, uh, something along those lines. I'm wondering, you know, how many people I could get to just simply follow along with my morning manifest video as a way to just have fun and be accountable and do it with someone. And I thought that could be fun. So I might do that. It is day 21. And I am starting to think about what my next challenge is going to be. My next 30 day, I'm going to do another 30 day challenge as soon as this one is over. I will announce to you guys what that is when I figure it out for myself. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about that in another video because literally I just need to keep this short and upload it. Um, also, I think YouTube has decided that they really don't like my videos. Um, when I posted that video and the title is, is if you're not gay, just say so. Like. Pretty much all the videos after that are getting very, very little views. Like I think they they put me in a like a timeout box or something because they thought I was making some video like harassing people for being gay when I was really responding to someone <laughs> who was questioning whether I was gay or not. But I don't. I never really saw that as some big issue that YouTube has to protect me from. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not into this politically correct horse shit. I cuss a lot. So that's okay. It's just been a little bit like, I don't I don't like when people tell me what to say and how to say it. And I hate being politically correct. It makes me actually want to make even more vi videos that are questionable, just, just to be like rubbing it in somebody's face. That's not cool. That's not cool. So anyway, I'm trying to figure all these things out, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do next. But I do know for a fact that I'm gonna to continue to challenge myself. This has been a really, uh, a huge growing experience for me to challenge myself. Um, and I was like, why can't I just do another 30 day challenge? It may have to do with um, substance abuse. It may have to do with a little of this. It, Basically, it'll be a challenge. Like, uh, maybe I won't do this, I won't do that, I will do this, I, I'll walk 10 miles a day or five miles a day, or by the end of 30 days, I'm gonna be able to do something physical, like maybe run them, run three miles without stopping, or do 50 push-ups in a row, or, because I can barely do like 15. Um, uh, just, I don't know what, but I, I wanna keep challenging myself, and I wanna do something hard. What I have been doing is actually super, super hard. Um, I have been through some personal challenges over the last week, um, specifically where I just wanted to drink so bad uh, or smoke or whatever, like go crazy and just like get out of my head over some really painful, honestly, really painful things, you know, personal things in my life that are just discouraging and painful and I just want to block it out but I believe in people and I'm excited about the future and I love myself and um, yeah I think I just want to stay in that mindset and I just I can't I don't know I just I'm not wired to do anything else other than to kind of take responsibility for me let other people say and do and think whatever makes them happy. But for me, I found just for a minute, it was really sidetracking me from my purpose and, 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 and my joy. And uh, I just can't let anybody take that away from me. I just can't. I'm not capable of giving that kind of power away to others. So I will keep you posted on what 
I decide to do next for my next challenge. I'm hoping that I can uh, keep growing and and uh, and obviously I want to keep posting videos here on YouTube, but I probably won't challenge myself to do a video every day for the next 30 days once this challenge is over with. Um, that's been a little taxing for me. And I'm not really sure if you guys really need that much content from me. Uh, I mean, I think your lives would be just fine without it. <laughs> I'm not going to disappear, but... Um, and financially, I've got to figure out what to do next. I mean, I could challenge myself to try to get 10,000 views a video, and then that means I'd be creating, like, the most entertaining content possible and say, I'm going to try to get a video to hit 10,000 views and go viral before the end of 30 days, which wouldn't be a, a lot of videos. It would be i got to really produce them and do something great. That might be a, that might be a fun part of my challenge. Uh, but basically, like, because then if I could do that, then I could figure out how to monetize and make some money and and uh but right now this is just i'm just hanging out with you guys i don't really give a shit i already told you i don't give a shit about monetization and all that i can't do both i can't save myself and worry about making money and being popular or whatever those are, i just i'm not the kind of person that can do both at one time so i'll focus on how to monetize my life whether it's through social media youtube tiktok uh, or, and, you know, I'll start building something and, uh, I, I, what I'm saying is I don't know. I don't care. Someone asked me what I'm going to do next. I got to finish this before I know what I'm going to do next. So it's day 21 and, um, one challenge at a time. And, um, I don't know, you guys, I, I, I would love to have some, you know, 30 day challenge channel, you know, and like, uh, what's our next challenge? Who wants to do it with me? And we, even if it's just 50 people, you know, um, or 20 people or 10 people to make a, you know, have an impact in a few people's lives and have my own life impacted in a positive way. I mean, that, that is monetizing your life. That's making your life better. And that's worth more than views and worth more than money because when you live the life that you've imagined and you, you find a group of people to do that with that help you and you push each other, everything else will work itself out. Everything else will work itself out. So with that, I can and I will focus on my desire to live the life that I've imagined. I can and I will, which includes getting on this bike stay close to this desire by reminding myself of it every day. No one can stop me but me. And no thing can stop me until tomorrow. Let me see. Hold on. Let's see if I can come out here in the middle of the field and maybe ride around in circles. I like doing the spinning thing. And I only have to be lead. just for today until next time three two one thank you